Small company shares can be fertile ground for financial betting. The term small company is something of a misnomer. Small company shares are in companies worth between 20 million and 150 million pounds, which can be quite large concerns. Small company shares are often listed on the alternative investment market or AIM. If you choose to spread bet on such stocks, look out for stocks making a new high. This is more significant with small caps than with majors. Majors can take new highs because of the general market mood, but a small cap will usually have a good reason to go up. Because of the volatility, you also need to take a view on where you set your stop loss. You need to give the stock room to move to avoid being stopped out merely on the noise of the market. Not all spread betting companies, however, will accept bets on smaller company shares. Penny shares. Penny shares are literally shares in companies which are only worth a few pennies. They are shares in companies which have hit the very bottom of their cycle, whose profits have fallen to rock bottom or simply stagnated. The gamble is that they will find their feet and rise again. You may find, however, that not many financial spread betting providers offer bets on penny shares. Of course, the smaller the company, the less liquid the shares. So, you may have to put up a margin percentage equivalent to 25% to 50% for such stocks. In practice, it's hard to trade small caps short term. The market maker spreads on penny stocks may tend to be quite wide. Ideally, you want to trade inside the spread. This is especially so when there are a few market makers in a stock. With spread betting, the spread is even wider, with no possibility to trade inside the spread, since providers take the market maker quote and add a bit to the bid offer market maker spread. Thus, since trading in small companies is difficult because of the wider spreads, in such cases you would do well to aim to trade medium term moves lasting a number of weeks as opposed to days. Another thing to consider when investing in such companies is that a £500 investment is the same regardless of the share price. In other words, a 25% loss is a 25% loss. Grey markets. Betting on the value of a share before public trading begins is known as trading on the grey market. Not all financial bookmakers will accept grey market bets.